I was getting a thousand followers every 22 hours every 22 hours so 10k 11k 12k 13k for i was like yeah Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you are seeing this beautiful face, please don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button and giving this video a big thumbs up if you end up enjoying it. And if it's not, hi guys! <laughs> hey girl! Hey guys! <laughs> All of them. Okay guys, so I'm back with a, will I say story time? In my last video, I asked you guys if you... Pardon my manners. As you can see from the hairdo, I came to celebrate, to jubilate, because what? Guys, we're at 20,000 subscribers! Oh my goodness, thank you guys so, 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 so much! I... <laughs> I would cry, but girl, I spent how many hours on this makeup and this hair? We're gonna save it for <laughs> the vlogs. But, <laughs> in today's video, um, I'm basically just going to tell you guys the story time of how this whole this whole thing happened this whole massive growth if you don't know i was literally on is it 8k or 9k like is it up to two weeks now ago and today we're at 20k so i'm gonna sh tell you guys what happened from the title you already know but i'm not going to tell you like literally the whole process and what was going on and like yeah so if you want to know how this growth happened and the tips I've picked up along the way. I honestly, my the way I see YouTube now has completely shifted, completely. Okay, so yeah, if you want to hear all this, please keep on watching. So I just want to start off. Oh, let's start off now. Um. Okay. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've always said that vlogs did the best on my channel and um, the more I grew, the more analytical I was. Like I was really I'm depending a lot on the YouTube analytics so if it says my vlogs do best I was putting almost all my energy into them but then I knew that it wasn't going to be possible for me to keep uploading vlogs three times a week or twice a week when I was doing twice a week so I knew I had to incorporate them so when I when I first started YouTube I was actually really into chit chat videos but like it wasn't doing so well so I was like ah oh, people don't really care what I have to say people just want to see my life not really me sitting in one place talking so that really like made me think that chit chat videos was not the way to go but because of i had to mix and match so i could keep producing vlogs at least once a week i had to incorporate them back even though i did like them and if the results were not that good great but like i still had to put out content so i said do my chit chat videos i said do my first day videos i did what else did i do i can't remember what i did again so for my vlog if you watch my vlogs please watch my vlogs um you kind of see how i am what i like things i buy what i talk about you kind of know my personality honestly if you watch my vlog so i think for my vlog people are telling me um i like how you are I like how you're breathing on things make a video and you're here to make a video on leveling up and all that so like honestly i was like oh that's a good idea and everything so prior to that i'm really into watching feminine femininity tips like all of them how to be a high a high value woman how to be rest like all this i used to watch i actually, I actually started watching them not let me like three months ago i started watching them and i actually quite like them so what i noticed as i was watching those videos is that the videos that, that were like performing really well always had laurie harvey's photo on the thumbnail and me as a viewer i would always click the ones that she was on more so me, some people even dedicated a whole video and explain her as like a high value woman and how she's classy and all that and those videos were always doing well i think it even came out when she was really like being talked about so obviously traffic so that's what i noticed and i, and I obviously if you are not familiar i love laurie harvey so so I, I i noticed that one thing i want to put out i'm going to still get to the point but one thing i want to put out that if you're a creator on youtube you should watch youtube differently don't watch youtube like the average viewer them they're just there to watch not creating anything but you as a creator you should be picking up on things so when i watch vlogs it's not just for entertainment i'm like i try to see okay what's this person showing that i don't really show my vlog i'm like oh i don't really show this okay this looks i like watching this one let me pick up on that or like something that they did you liked or that so when i was watching the videos i was picking up on the thumbnails and i was like just i hadn't made any plans just because like oh videos actually have this babe's picture on it 
do well. So I put that at one side of my brain. So when you guys now requested for me to do the level up in your 20s, uh, when I was preparing preparing my notes, because I do prepare my notes when I'm making videos, I now realized one of my points had to do with Lori Harvey. So I was like, oh my god, this is great because it won't be thought, it won't be clickbait because I hate clickbait. Like if you put someone's picture on the thumbnail, at least refer to them, even if it's even if it's like one second, refer to them so it's not completely like you just put them for clout. So like, oh, this is perfect. So, and I remember that I can actually just put her on my thumbnail because I did mention something um, regarding her personality in the video. So when I was done with the video and everything, I was uploading it. There's nothing to do with the thumbnail. Look at me. Look at how the devil works. So you know, guys, I'm into like aesthetics and everything being nice. When I did my thumbnail, I knew there was a way you can add pictures or like cleaning and making just that image. Like you kind of clean the borders. That thing was long so i knew that i had to just paste the picture as is and in my eye it wasn't looking good it was just looking like what's this now so i almost didn't use the one i almost like changed my mind like oh let me not, let me not just use her then um like i always say another tip don't be so you focused in your videos i also mentioned this in one of my other videos about youtube growth is that when people don't really know you like they don't watch your channel the first time you attract them more if you're not talking about yourself because they don't really care about you to be quite frank so in my mind I was like you've been putting thumbnails of just you all this while and they've been doing great but like it's not um it's not fantastic why don't you now just try this one out what's the worst that can happen and so I was like you know what I'm gonna do it so I just put it and I put it up there and then something that people I've watched in some of these videos is that when like something goes um, viral, it doesn't mean that immediately you put it up, it just starts doing numbers like boo 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 boo. Now nah, it can actually take a month, it can take two months, it can even take five months, even a year before it just automatically blows up. So when I just, I just posted it and it was doing, I mean, it was doing okay. It wasn't my best performing video, it wasn't my worst, it was just like mm, in the middle and let me deviate a bit when i was first starting obviously when you first start i always thought okay when i said i'd be like would this be the video because literally guys it honestly just takes one video to just do well and it will just help your channel so much i'm not even saying because to my thing viral was like one million or even over my videos i'm up to one million but literally it's been new numbers i was still get to that so at the beginning i was like oh i want viral content viral content but as I continued and I started becoming more aware of what I wanted to put out, I knew that my content wasn't viral, viral was I want quality or viral proof, I don't even know. Because for you to be viral, I think it's either you, you did something very, very like crazy or something happened and you were looking enough to catch it on camera or you're like, you're doing like viral trends that everyone would like find interesting, like, I don't know. And that's just not my content. Or maybe like collaborations and all that so the more I stayed on YouTube the more I was like I just I just don't like that content and I also want to bring up the issue of collaborations collaborations are great it's a beautiful way to help your channel but collaborations should be mutually beneficial so that's when I was going I was never like hurt or um, sad when like bigger creators maybe they will reply your DM or something because they are quite big I mean let's use the mommy for example she has 300 and something thousand subscribers if i come to her they might feel like just watching this i mean you never know girl i love you anyway if i come to her now and i ask for a collaboration and she's not really keen on it i will not be angry because let's be honest i'm the one that will benefit the most she might benefit she might get some subscribers but you can't compare you know tipping so i actually get i actually see sometimes like I hear stuff about oh some people don't like working with me but i think we should also be honest with ourselves that aside apart from mutually beneficial the topics have to like make sense and for me i just didn't want to have a person like i won't just collaborate for collaboration's sake if you if i if i don't have a topic that i think will do well i won't film it i won't mind filming on your channel and maybe like vlogging you that's how i that's my easiest way of collaborating because i'm just going to vlog you like i'll vlog you i'll put subscribe to the channel in the description bar people will see and my vlogs do the best so to me it was a win-win so i'm just saying this like don't pressure yourself into doing something that you know is not really you sometimes step out of your comfort zone and do something general to grow but it doesn't have to be so far off 
of what you're doing i'm going to get back to why this is important so where did i stop <laughs> yes so i put up the video and yeah i just went on my life i think after the video i was now working on my room tour and everything then i think about a week or so i started getting a lot of comments you know when you get notifications from like your youtube youtube will show you the topic of the video so you know the video that the person is commenting on and then i didn't really i'll just tap on it and i'll reply then i said this is i was always getting comments on that video so i was like wait hold up and i went on my youtube and all of a sudden <laughs> this video was on like 10k and why it was odd is because the video after that was a no the video after that was a vlog and like i always say my vlogs do the best in terms of numbers the vlog wasn't on 10k yet the vlog was close and maybe this video was like on 5k and maybe the vlog was on 7k and all of it last time i checked and now it's 10k so i was like oh hmm okay and i said now put it on my instagram stories again and i said this video just blew out of nowhere okay swipe up if you haven't seen it and after that that's when I, the comments started pouring in i would get i'm not even joking up to like over like up to like 100 comments a day on that video and i was like yo wait i was like wait what's going on that's when i was like wait to wait to wait and that's what i say because me i mean i mean I'm, I'm optimistic but at the same time i, I think i'm like a realist in a way like oh please calm down calm down but i'm going to actually change that because yeah so i was like wait what's happening then it said it said blowing up blowing up i was now seeing 15k 20k and then guys my subscriber count i think i had just gotten to, i was at 9k i was at 9k that it really started like pushing so at 9k i was like i remember i was i had traveled so i was in delta i was like i'm almost at 10k please swipe up you know everything some people swiped up but i still hadn't clocked that i was getting it from that video majority of my subscribers so i got to 10k and i was rejoicing guys the next day i got to 11k the next day i got to 12k i was getting a thousand followers every 22 hours every 22 hours i was getting so 10k 11k 12k 13k for, i was like yeah <laughs> you know like i think i still think i'm in a state of shock because i know this is not how i would probably react but i'm just so numb but i'm excited like i'm really i really wanted to sink it's, it's sinking slowly but it hasn't really gotten in yet so i was like what is going on every single day i was getting it and <laughs> child so was the money as the support card was increasing the money from that video was going up and i was still posting videos so um yeah it kept growing it kept growing and from there people now start watching my other channels which is why it's good to be consistent and be posting quality content guys it's not about just posting for posting quality content you have to be you have to be your own biggest critic look at your video okay for example when i, I used to vlog and then this, this is just a tiny example and then when i used to vlog my phone sometimes maybe i'm moving you know you're moving and then the footage will be like Grrr. and sometimes i still and back then i still used to put it but the more i used to like look at my content i'm like you can't be doing this you know you can't put up a clip that you're clearly falling or maybe you were walking and you put it in the vlog to me that's lousy okay that's an example of you have to be your biggest critic or like your thumbnail you cannot not edit your thumbnail your thumbnail is huge guys the reason why that video went viral is because of my thumbnail i don't care what anybody says i've just said it's because of my thumbnail that's all i've said because this background is not just for vibes i like it but it's catchy because most of all the comments are like oh my god your your room is amazing the next thing is be like is the show a bedroom tour your thumbnail is advertising you you cannot slack on your thumbnail edit it pick interesting if you're doing a vlog pick the most interesting bright bright eye-catching clips that you put on your thumbnail maybe you don't put your face maybe one clip is your face but if you don't have 
thick, bright. I can't say bright because <laughs> sometimes when I see something dark, it dulls me. I'm like, I can't even see. Because maybe you have to think as a creator and think as a viewer. But at the same time, give. Don't be so hard on yourself because that's something that I think happened to me and it restricted me from actually producing more. Because I was like, no, 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 my vlogs do well. Let me just focus on that. But still try to branch out, but don't branch out too far. For example, this twenties video, how to open your twenties, that did well. It's still it's still linked to my niche so i don't mind producing other things from it some people i've watched some youtubers and maybe they did a video on how to grow on youtube and that video blew but what they were actually doing was like maybe vlogs so because of that video blew the smartest thing i want to tell you is when your video when your video blows recreate that video again and i was a bit slow in doing mine but i have done a second video in your 20s recreate that video again and post it so that it helps but like, let's say I was doing vlogs and I did how to grow on YouTube channel, and it was that video that blew. If you don't have to make another video like that, someone like me, I won't be happy because that's not my niche. So one, that's one of the reasons I did. I wasn't too keen on always creating viral content because if you get subscribers from a particular video, they are most likely subscribing because of they want to watch more videos like that. Okay. So if maybe they are now watching, they check your page and that's like the only video you've, you've done linked to it. One, they might not subscribe. Two, if they do subscribe, they won't watch your other content. They will only be waiting for you to watch that. So always try to branch out, but don't branch too far. And don't be thinking, oh, this person, do what you want to do. It's your channel. It's your brand. You know, it's, your, it's basically, it's your life online. So put out what you want to put out. Don't care what other, what other person thinks or your this or that doesn't concern you do what you think is best for your channel so that's how my channel was growing for 10k 15k 16k 17k 8 and my milestone was growing i have about i didn't know last time i checked i had about 800 and something thousand views in total not on the video but all my videos in total and <laughs> it's crazy it's honestly crazy what i've learned and people were saying oh my god this is your growth is this is your growth your fast growth everything this growth obviously it was fast it happened in like about a week or two i gained i gained eleven thousand subscribers in 12 13 days that's that's crazy but i didn't i didn't gain it from zero subscribers i got in 80 subscribers i joined youtube in what 20 I don't use 20 ending 2017 but i was really serious ending 2018 so from ending 2018 till 2021 i was able to get 8k so it's fast but at the same time it's not fast and i'm saying this so that if you want to if you really want to start your channel or you're you you're very sad and you're just trying to know what to do be patient and i think study youtube stop posting stop posting content because you want to post it no study it you know that content that particular content you want to do study people who are doing well in that niche and copy it you know what stop trying to be another type of person stop trying to be different if you see for example the perfume collection i'm the type of person like i don't ever thinking about money very especially online i just don't like it but before i posted that video perfume collection i went to youtube and i searched perfume collection and I looked at the first videos that popped up and all of them stated the amount they spent on their perfume collection I won't see that and now be like, oh, I want to be different. Why are you trying to be different? Why are you trying to be different? You have seen what works. Why are you trying to form? Oh, let me we all know you know English do what has been done and what is doing well You have to work smart not hard. I won't start saying um, Are these perfumes worth the hype? It might work, but the likelihood of it working is very, very slim. So I always say, do what is already working. Look at what is working. Copy it. Copy it. It's working for a reason. Stop trying to be different, okay? You can be different in the actual content, but in terms of title, in terms of thumbnail, you have to study it. Study, study, study it. So I'm thinking, oh, I went here. Let me post it. No, if someone comes to me and they give me an idea for us to do, and I don't think it's gonna do well because I've studied my channel, I would say it will not do well. That's it. And I don't know about you. Maybe I'm wrong because I'm still trying to study this whole money thing with YouTube. Sometimes when I post videos that do well and then I post a video that doesn't do well, my money is to reduce. <laughs> I don't know. Comment down below if it happens to you. My money goes down a bit. I don't know if of that, 
but what I try to do is I try to make sure that my view my videos have a consistent amount of views so if it's like 10k I like seeing I'll see 10k 11k 8k I don't like see if I see 10k I'll see 3k I'll hide that video because it's not doing well you know so you have to be very I know a lot of us I feel like I'm type of person like I'm really good on appearance not just me my physical appearance but like in terms of my video quality my thumbnail I like making things look good I think I have that grace some people don't have that grace but like they have the content I'm just like that's what's stopping you, you can't see that's not how I am work on it try to make it look good try to make it look pleasing whether you like it or not it helps and obviously from the growth I got from YouTube it entered my Instagram people you know my feed by the way, I'm coming, I'm going to start my photo editing class very soon. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll announce it. My feed, my presets. Guys, sorry, my memory died. So like I said, even as I was growing on on YouTube, it was coming to my Instagram and I had I had made my Instagram such a way that it was pleasing to the eye. I had content there as well. So it really does help. Try to post content in at least more than one platform. I'm trying to go on TikTok again. I'm really trying but it's just about you putting in the work it's if it was easy everybody would be doing it everyone would be excelling at it it takes an extra bit of effort extra bit of analysis trying to be detailed in everything that you're doing and it really does help in making you stand out i got another question someone asking me that i recently um moved from posting twice a week to posting three times a week and if that made any difference that made Excellent. That made a lot of difference. It made a difference when I went from posting once a week to twice a week and posting three times a week made Honestly, it really does help the more you post The more engagement you get the more you're likely to grow. So it's just you're posting more They're going to recommend you more if you're posting more and that's doing well I think posting more general will help your channel grow but majority of my subscribers what made me grow this much in such a short period of time was my level up video i gained over eight thousand subscribers from that video i was still getting subscribers from from all my other videos and in terms of money <laughs> like i said i don't like talking about money but i will say from this growth and all i made 10 times more than i normally make so is it worth it? It is worth it, honey. So do your research. Honestly, I rather not post that week than post something I'm not proud of. You can't just be posting for posting sake. Even your subscribers might not even think that you don't really read them because what's this on your channel? <laughs> do you understand? So um yeah guys, that is my story time of how I went viral. You know, it's it's amazing i cannot lie and I'm, I'm so grateful for you guys thank you guys so much to my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing i hope you feel at home my old subscribers please oh, give them cola nuts biscuits no not biscuits. Yeah, uh, well, I turn that. give them meat <laughs> i'm bush anyway give them wine yes give them wine feel at home guys a lot of creatures follow me and you guys want to hear the story I hope this was helpful. I hope this was encouraging. Honestly, no one knows it all. Just keep trying your hand. But the goal is for you to keep elevating and being better than you were yesterday. Or your content, your next content being better than the last one. Okay? So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, please like, please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. La, 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 la.